what if the amount of time that a project takes based on its critical path uh, isn't enough? What if you have customers, for example, that want the house sooner than nine months? Then you have to do what is called project crashing. Project crashing is where you reduce the duration of the project, so we shorten the project, and that's going to cost us money, right? Because we're going to have to pay over time, we may have to rush the delivery of things. So we need to look at the crash time. How much time can we reduce an activity? And the crash cost, what would it cost to reduce the time it takes to complete those activities? So we can actually calculate our crash cost per week by looking at the crash cost and dividing it by the amount of time we can reduce the activity. So let's suppose it takes nine months to build a house and activity one takes three months. Let's turn that into weeks. So let's say activity one actually takes 12 weeks. Okay, that would be normal time. But we want to reduce that time. And let's say we want to reduce the time and we want to have it done then instead, we want to have it done by week seven instead of week 12. So here, the crash time is we can crash up to five weeks. That is, we can cut up to five weeks off this project. Well, if the total cost of cutting off that five weeks is $2,000, then the cost per week would be the $2,000 cost divided by the five weeks. And if we do that, then it'll cost us $400 for every week we shave off of activity one in building our house. So we need to know the crash cost per week so we can decide how many weeks we're gonna shave off this project. So how do we do that? All right, so we need to know our crash cost per week and we need to know the total allowable crash time. That is, each activity, you can shave off a bit of time, but you can't get rid of the whole activity in its entirety. So if activity one normally takes 12 weeks, and we think we can get it down to seven, that means that we have up to five weeks we can shave off. That would cost us $2,000 to shave off the five weeks, so if we only shaved off one week, the cost would be about 400 bucks. So we need our cost per week and the total amount that we can shave off of each activity. The next decision we need to make then is which activities do we start crashing? Okay, well, if we crash an activity that's not on the critical path, is that going to actually change the end date? Right, what did it mean to be on the critical path? The critical path were the activities that took the longest to do. So that told us the earliest we could be done the project because we had to do all of those to get to that time period. So if you change an activity that already has slack, that's not on the critical path, it won't change the, the finished date. So when you are doing project crashing, you have to focus on the critical path. And if you'll recall, in this example for building houses, the critical path was one, two, four, and seven. So we only should focus on the critical path. Now that critical path, one, two, four, seven, took nine months. And if we assume that there are four weeks in a month, then we're looking at 36 weeks. Now we can see here for each of those activities how many weeks can be shaved off and at what cost. Okay, so we're going to start crashing this project. Well, we want to focus on the critical path because that's what makes a difference. So which item on the critical path do you choose? Well, 
we're of course going to crash the activities that cost us the least amount to do so. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to crash activity one. Okay. Right now it's taking us 36 weeks to finish this project. What if we want to reduce the time to 27 weeks? Okay, you're building this house, the customer comes to you and says, I can't wait 36 weeks, how much would it cost me to get in it early? How about 27 weeks? So we say, okay, well, we can speed this process up, but it will cost you. So the question is, how much should we charge them to crash the project? So we'll focus on activity one, and we can crash up to five weeks. So we can go from 36 weeks to 31 weeks, and the cost will be $400 per week to speed it up. So 400 times the five, 2,000 bucks. Does that get us to 27 weeks? Now we're still short, we're, st we're now just at 31. So we need to get down to 27. The next step in the process is always to recheck that you're still on the critical path. Because if your critical path changes, then that means the activities you wanna crash next will change. So we wanna make sure we're still on the critical path. The difference is, is activity one is no longer 12 weeks, it's now seven. So remember our paths that we found before were one, two, four, seven. One, two, five, six, seven, one, three, five, six, seven, and one, three, four, seven. Well, one, two, four, seven took 36 weeks before, and we just shaved five weeks off of activity one, so now it takes 31 weeks. Well, one, two, five, six, seven, if you recall, one, two, five, six, seven took eight months. Okay, so 32 weeks. And activity one has just been reduced by five months, so that's 32 minus five, and it is now 27. All right, so we go one, three, five, six, seven. Before one, three, five, six, seven took seven months, so 28 weeks. And we just shaved five weeks off of activity one, so it's now taking 23. One, three, four, seven before took eight months, okay, so 32 weeks. And we just shaved five weeks off. So it's now 27 as well. So notice our critical path hasn't changed. It's still the longest path. And so that's our minimum completion time. So by crashing activity one, shorting, shortening it by five weeks, our completion time is now 31. Because remember, we have to do every step in the process. So even though these other paths are shorter, they're missing the other activities that are taking longer. Okay, all right, we're not there yet. So now we gotta figure out the next thing to crash. So as you look at your, cro your crash cost per week, we've gone with the cheapest one, so now we pick the next cheapest. The next cheapest one is activity two. Its cost per week is 500 bucks. And so we look at how many weeks can we remove from activity two, speed it up. So notice we can crash three weeks. So let's take our 31 weeks and we'll subtract from that three more weeks. So 31 minus three puts us at 28. And the cost of that will be the $500 times three weeks or 1800 bucks. The problem is, is we're not there yet. We're trying to get to 27 weeks. So we're going to need to crash another activity. Activity one has already been reduced from 12 to seven. 
activity eight has been reduced down to five. And so now we need to figure out which activity next to crash. We go back again to our critical path and make sure the critical path hasn't changed. So by changing activity two, our critical path of one, two, four, seven went from 31 to 28. The path one, two, five, six, seven also declined because it contains activity two. And so it went down by three from 27 and now it would be at 24. Now notice the path one, three, five, six, seven. It doesn't contain activity two. So does it change? No. So neither does the one, three, four, seven. It doesn't change either. So again, we look at our paths and notice that our critical path still takes the longest. So we're still on the same critical path, which means that as we choose to, pra to crash this project further, we need to pick from activities four or seven. Now activities four and seven cost us the same, so it doesn't really matter which one you pick. You can pick either one. Let's pick activity four. So we crashed one and two, and now we're gonna crash four. And we'll crash activity four by one week. So we're gonna take it down to 11. That one week is gonna cost us $7,000. And now we're at the 27 weeks that the client wanted. Well, what's the total cost to our business of speeding up these activities in our project? Well, it's the 2,000 plus the 1,800 plus the 7,000. So the total cost to the business is 10,500. What do you charge the client, that individual who's buying the house from you? Well, at least 10,005 plus your profit margin. Now notice there's a big difference between crashing to 28 weeks and crashing to 27. So it kind of shows you the point at which it gets a lot more expensive to speed up the project.